right, Dakota. We just met with uh, Ed Brown from Boys and Girls Club and his associate, and they had some great news for us about the Youth of the Year winners. Now, this is going to apply to all of the Youth of the Year winners, not just who wins today or tomorrow, but to everybody who came down to compete. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So they start off with the Sparkle program, and more or less, it's a monthly, uh, it's a monthly monetary system that allows military kids to get spending money every month and on their birthdays and during Christmas. The next one was scholarship to the University of Phoenix, which can which can greatly help most of the kids there. And then also there is a leadership program happening in Florida within the next few months that Disney is sponsoring. So it, that's what they've said so far about the activities that that's going to happen. But. Tomorrow is when we finally do everything that we've been working for. We're going to present our speech in front of all the other selectees and, and the judges later in, during the afternoon. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to everyone else's stories. Uh, it's got to be positive. Cool. And uh, so our speech is tomorrow. you <laughs> you got to do your speech three times, it looks like. Uh, breakfast in front of judges and at lunch. Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling confident? How do you feel? Uh, I'm, man, the lunch one, feeling confident about that. The breakfast one, don't know. We'll see as it comes. But overall, looking hopeful. And yeah, what 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 uh, position in the lineup do you have? Uh, I'm sixth out of nine. It's supposed to be eleven, but Zama and Yakota did not show up. Ah, uh, it's too bad. Boo, Zama and Yakota. <laughs> All right, man, so uh, if you wanted to say anything to anybody else who might be interested in doing this program and didn't do it this year for whatever reason, what would you tell them? I greatly suggest this. The five essays are nothing. You can knock them out in a week. That's what I did. <laughs> it, but all the kids here are exactly like you. They had to write those five essays so they completely understand what you've been through. And they're all really cool. It, they all deserve to be here because they put in that effort that other kids did not. Awesome, man. Well, uh, we're still here in beautiful Iwakuni. We've got the, the beach coming around us here, apparently. And uh, we are going to be taking a walk, enjoying the rest of our day before we have to compete tomorrow. So uh, just say see you later. See ya.